Hey guys, it's Jim Wade 304 here, and I have a box, and in this box is a set that you guys helped me pay for. It's Ninjago City Docks, and I have some other stuff I want to share with you guys, but it's mostly going to be about Ninjago City Docks. Let me go get my knife, and we'll cut into this box. So you can see here, we have, we have the knife, got the knife, so we're just going to open that up, and then just pull the tape off. First, then. Tape is being. Okay, let me try cutting. Why don't I just cut down the middle instead? There you go. Why don't I just do it the first time? So. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not working out for me. There we go. So. I bought, the, bought the box open. Inside is an Indrago City Docs. So I think I, um, all the paperwork is... Yeah. Here's a yellow sticker. You know, it's nothing special. So, but... Yeah, let's take a look at the docs after I pull it out of here. And uh, we'll look at the uh, the plant the plants from plants thing as well. So here, let's pull up the... Oh, Lego! What happened here? Look at that, guys! Like, look, seriously, this is this is insane. Like, this is this is the plants from plants thing, and the box is just destroyed. Here's a look at it in some better lighting because I don't have flash enabled right now, and because my phone's at like eight percent when I'm recording this. But oh, look at that! That's terrible. That that that's real. This is really bad. I don't. Uh, I wonder if I can fix it. Like, just push the box back together. I don't know. I'll try something later, but. Guess it's not the worst thing in the world to get ruined. Now, the moment of truth. Let's pull out Ninjago City Docks. Ugh. Oh, okay. So, this looks new. I think this is a new security measure for people. Or uh, for Lego. Anyway, um, so we're just going to pull that out. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do with this box. I think I'm just going to throw it away because I don't really, really need it. So, we'll just stick the docks right Right here, see about all the minifigs there, and check it out. Here's the Ninjago City Docks. I really do like this set. I'm so excited to build it. Here, um, you can check that out. There's my flashlight. Uh, yeah, you can check out the live stream that helped me raise this. I'll pop a link above there. Yeah, but overall, a very cool set. Very happy to have the docks finally after three days of shipping. Wish it would have been here yesterday, but it wasn't. So, then there's a couple more things I do want to share with you guys that I. I uh, picked up as well. So we also got, this is uh, from my parents for my birthday gift, we got the Dragon Pit, set number 70655, 1660 pieces, beautiful set. You can see there's a little bit of damage to the box, way to go Lego. And it also has this new security design, I'll do more of that in a, in the review, talk, talk more about that. Next biggest set we got is the Diesel Knot. 70654, 1179 pieces. Then we got some other stuff too. Let me back this stand up a little bit so I have room for it. This, uh, this was $110. This was $130, by the way. Ninjago City Docks was $230 plus $15 tax. Anyway, that's probably not important, but yeah. So here's the uh, Firstborn Dragon, probably my favorite of the new wave besides the docks. Um, 70653, 882 pieces. This is a $70 set. I really like this dragon. Might be my favorite non-movie set ever. Um, previously it was Dragon's Forge, but it might change after this. And, from Walmart today, we picked up the Lego Ninjago 70652 Stormbringer Dragon. $34 I paid for this online. It was a $40 set, and I'm very excited to build this up here very soon. So, that's going to do it for the haul. Which set... Are the, which of these are you excited for? Also, tune in later today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as the posting of this video to see me build the Ninjago City Docks with a Lego Freak, House of Bricks, and some others. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. This is Jim Lady 304 signing off. Bye.